For you, Lord, are good and ready to forgive and abundant in mercy to all those who call upon you. Let us look at how Jesus dealt with forgiveness when he was on the earth. After he was arrested in Gethsemane, Peter, who loved the Lord, followed him secretly to see what would happen. What would they do to Jesus? While he was sitting by the fire, warming his hands, someone identified him as being one of Jesus' disciples. Peter denied it, knowing Jesus not one time, but three times he denied him, even cursing to make sure they understood he was serious. At the moment he was cursing and denying Jesus, his eyes met Jesus's, and he immediately remembered that Jesus had told him that he would, have denied, would deny him three times. But what did Jesus do when Peter denied him? He looked at him with love and mercy, and Peter knew right there that Jesus had forgiven him. The Bible says Peter immediately went outside and began to cry. The story of the Bible, this story in the Bible, is a story about forgiveness and grace. It is a story of God over and over reaching out and forgiving his children when they hurt him and each other. Yet many people still feel unforgiven and even struggle with feelings of guilt and shame long after confessing their sins to God. They fear that the sin is too much to be forgiven. But I want to encourage you. I want to remind you that your forgiveness is not dependent on you. It is dependent on God. Forgiveness is something that God does. It is a promise. He says, come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Isaiah 118.